Uh, the Planet Pledge is a new project, uh, has only been up and running for about a year. Uh, the aim of it is to get people to think about their carbon impact, impacts in a very uh, holistic way, um, to understand where the impacts arise and how they might make small lifestyle changes to, to start reducing them. Um, I think it was made quite easy by TSIS programming that they did a lot of the application process so it wasn't very time consuming um, but you still had a good amount of input like in the final stages so you obviously sat in the interviews and it was good that you could get the person that you wanted rather than them choosing for you. Um, we had a lot of really good applications um, and it was actually quite hard to decide between two people at the end, so I think that's you know, a great sign. We, we ended up with a really good intern, which has been great. First of all, I was asked to give a 10-minute presentation on engaging people with climate change. And it was useful to have that as a focus for the uh, interview, to put my thoughts together on that. Um, I had been warned that there were no facilities, no PowerPoint, not even a flip chart to give a presentation, so it was very informal. Um, and not too daunting. Um, and then the interview, it was a panel of three, uh, so again, not overwhelming. Um, and that was really useful practice for me because I had not been at an interview for a very long time. Um, so it gave me practice in thinking why I had done things at different stages, things that I had never really had to put into words before, my motivation for applying for this course or for doing that job. Um, so, in general, very useful. It's given me the chance to brush up on existing skills such as IT, um, where I had some experience but not a great deal, so um, that's been really useful to, to put it into practice. Um, another thing is that Whilst university has given me really good experience of communicating science to people who understand a lot about it and putting reports together, uh, what's been really useful here is the opportunity to, to communicate similar concepts to people who don't necessarily have a background in the subject. It's helped me build my confidence and I think the skill to do that. Yeah, so um, as the person who works on the Planet Pledge project, um, it's been hugely beneficial for me. Um, and the main reason for that is capacity. I only work part time and there's an awful lot to do. You know, we committed to a lot in the funding and meeting those targets is always quite challenging. And it's great to have some extra time and an extra head and someone who can kind of input into the project. Um, so that's been really, really good. I think it's been very useful for me to have a current job because although I've done voluntary roles, um, they haven't necessarily included a job description, certainly no selection procedure. So this is um, the first formal employment I've had in a very long time. So hopefully that will be relevant. And that means I have an employer's reference as well as an academic reference to give. I think it's a really good experience to find an internship in a field that you think you want to work in. Um, and I think that can really help you find your direction, um, find which areas you really do want to concentrate on and can be useful for making contacts as well. For this particular project, I know that if we had have diverted one of our other staff members for the same amount of time, we definitely wouldn't have got the same amount of work out of them just because um, you're always distracted by the other aspects of your job that you've got to do and things will take priority. Whereas having someone who's very focused on that particular project has been really good for that because the rest of us who work at the organisation, because we're so small, we all do everything and things can kind of take over a little bit. So it's been really good having that balance. Um, yeah, and I think internship was definitely the best solution for that particular role. In terms of putting a value on the internship, it's, it's quite difficult to do because I think 
you kind of don't realise what you're going to get until it happens. But the main thing is is the extra capacity, like I mentioned before. I think it's it's a it's a huge relief to have some of the pressure taken off. And I think you know in this sector everyone's always very rushed and there's a lot to do and you've got quite hard targets to meet. And so to have that extra bit of help where you maybe weren't expecting to get it has been like really really helpful. Um, I think other values have been effectively the staff um, on the project have doubled so it's gone from me um, to two of us and although we've only got the intern for one day a week it's still a whole other person with a whole other set of ideas and I think we've learned a lot from each other um, and it's been it's been great to just be able to bounce ideas around um, and everything seems a lot easier when you can just talk to someone about it um, and they have the same kind of knowledge of the project that you did so that's been really really good as well. My main advice for somebody thinking of applying for one of these internships is pick something that you really want to do. Um, and it definitely comes across to an employer. If you feel passionate about it, then they will want you. A well-organised internship can be very advantageous both to the organisation and to the, the intern. Also the other thing is just like make sure you factor in time to kind of like teach them and give them the, the learning experience because it is more of a two-way thing so like there might be a bit more supervising time needed but it's definitely like worth it in the end. Don't think it's just for youngsters. Um, there are always things to learn. Um, I think, it, again, it helps to, to give you direction and work out where you're trying to get to. And um, it's great experience working with a big variety of people, different ages, different backgrounds, and uh, well worth doing. you know, graduates are who's going to be your workforce in the future and so I guess it's really important for them to see what it's like to work in the voluntary sector because there's not a lot of jobs around at the moment but hopefully there will be again in the future and if people can kind of experience what it's like then hopefully they want to come, come back and work in the sector later on which is obviously pretty valuable.